Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to decide when to use a spreadsheet. Now, uh, you want to use a spreadsheet when the data that you're going to be filling out is something that uh, lends itself very well to a tabular form, uh, which will be where you have columns and rows uh, that uh, explain the data best. Uh, this could be, you know, employee sales reports, uh, population reports, um, different things like that. Another reason that might want uh, you to use a spreadsheet is if you're going to want to build graphs, uh, if you're going to want to have some sort of visual representation of the data, whether it be bar charts or pie charts uh, or whatever, uh, spreadsheet software has all of this built into it. If you just type your data into the rows and columns, you can create charts uh, very easily. I'm going to show you uh, one thing that's in Microsoft Excel that's very useful. Let's go to our computer. I'm going to type in some data here into Microsoft Excel simply by going to my Start button. Let's find Microsoft Office. We're going to launch Excel. Now what I'm going to use is called a, um, a pivot table. It allows you to sort your data as well as to look at it um, very easily. Uh, let's say we have a number of employees, or rather employee, their location, and their number of sales. I'm just going to type in some employees here. Tennessee, Megan's in Tennessee, William is in Alabama, now to insert a pivot table let's just highlight our tabular data, go to insert tab, we just want to insert a pivot table, it's going to ask you what data you want to select but I've already got it selected so let's just say OK. Now. Our pivot table has just been created and we've got to tell it what we want to include. Employee, location, and number of sales. Now let's say we wanted a report based upon a location. Just drag your location field down into the report area and as you can see we can now change our location to say Tennessee and that will show you all of our Tennessee sales and select Alabama there's all of our Alabama sales. Uh, so as you can see spreadsheet data is very easy to work with. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just showed you how to decide when to use a spreadsheet.